Welcome to Weekly Digest, where we highlight the works of ministers of government as they push the administration's development agenda. A memorial site will be established in Region 8 to honor the children who lost their lives during the horrific Madia Secondary School dormitory fire in May last year. Soon, we will also immortalize the memory of our lost girls and the boy by establishing a memorial site. A necessary move to ensure that the lives of these 20 young people will always be etched in our minds and in our memory. One of the most important lessons from the Mali tragedy is the imperative to protect our children. The capacity of the Civil Defense Commission has been further boosted with the People's Republic of China donating two amphibious vessels, four boats, and outward engines at a total cost of U.S. $100,000. As we seek to embrace comprehensive disaster management and uh, improve our ability in the face of all the negative effects of climate change, since 2023, more than 75 surgical interventions have been performed at the theater at Aishalton, Region 9. The $70 million investment by government has allowed residents in Aishalton to receive quality surgeries and supporting treatment right in their village. Even now, there's still some work that we have to do, and we are committed to doing that. But we are improving. And since we have put that operating theater in place, we have been able to send in teams of surgeons and other health people that came in to your village. And they did more than 80 different surgeries for the residents here and the surrounding community. The Ministry of Agriculture will soon be constructing a technologically advanced model farm at Monrepo on the east coast of Demararo that will be managed by persons living with disabilities. The participants will be able to earn while benefiting from greater access to sustainable and integrated agriculture practices at the model farm. We already cleared the land at Panipo and they are they will now build out that farm there for disabled people in our country. So that they will manage that farm and they will have the profit coming out of the farm of earn a daily uh, livelihood on that farm. That is the kind of advancement that we are making in this sector. Through the Core Home Support Initiative, which falls under the $5.8 billion Adequate Housing and Urban Accessibility Program, five families were able to receive their new homes. Here, for example, over here, within the low-income area, we have spent about $1.3 billion for the streets, drainage, even for some light, street lighting, etc. This has brought us to the end of this edition of Weekly Digest. For these and other government-related stories, do log on to our website at dpi.gov.gy and our social media platforms as well. Goodbye.